Hi everyone, it's Nicole again and here to do another helpful diabetes video. Um, I probably have two and a half minutes to get this done before somebody over there needs something. Um, so they're home and they're crazy. Um, but I wanted to say two things to start off with. One, these videos are meant uh, strictly as my personal advice. I mean, my personal experience not to be used as medical advice. Um, and two, I noticed that I have some subscribers, so I wanted to say thank you subscribers. That's really cool. Um, okay, and if you have a question, you could shoot it and maybe I could try to answer it, maybe not. Okay, with that being said, I'm here to talk tonight about my reliably mute request to calibrate. Um, so this is my um, gripe with Medtronic. Here's the deal, I live in a house full of three boys, plus husbands, so kind of four boys. Um, and they are loud by nature and when they need something they get louder um they do not get quieter they do not silently sit in the corner and raise their hand i mean that's just how it goes if you need something you got to speak up so i'm sitting here thinking tonight as i test my sugar i'm getting a little shaky um i'm feeling a little bit low right now so i went to i went to check my blood my blood sugar um and in fact i am a little low not too low to do the video maybe i'm too low to do the video we'll see um, but I wanted to show you guys what happens when you enter a blood glucose and look away. Um, because if you look away after you enter your blood glucose, you might miss the request to calibrate. Um, which a lot of times is not a big deal, but at bedtime, if you miss your chance to calibrate, you might be getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning to calibrate. So, I just tested my sugar. Um, you can see right now this it's blurry i apologize this says a 94 um when i entered my bg in 92 there it goes um i am in fact a 74 so i'm going to go ahead and put this in but i'm also going to note really quick that your sg the number that was just right here is delayed so i'm actually a 74 and i might even be turning around now but it's a little delayed so it's still showing a 92. okay so i'm going to go in here i'm going to just enter my bg because i'd like to show you guys how this works I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to put in a 74, and then I'm going to pretend like I'm a mother of three boys, at, busy at night, doing whatever. I'm going to hit save. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so here's my question. Now, the first thing, I didn't do a bolus. If I had done a bolus, it would tell me that zero, I was getting zero for a bolus because my sugar didn't need it. Okay, that's fine. But then this question will pop up. Now, if I have looked away because my kids are crying or, you know, the cat is doing whatever, right? This is what is available on my screen. It says calibrate sensor. And then it says calibrate sensor with BG 74. And now it's gone. Okay. So if I've looked away for the 30 seconds that it's there, by the time I come back to see what I was doing, the question is gone. Um, so the reason I'm making a video about this is because as I said, I'm busy. Life is crazy. Life is hectic. And there are times that I have set out to calibrate, where I've, got, I've sat down and I've gone, okay, it's bedtime, I wanna calibrate right now, and then somebody cries out, or there's a thump down, so you know, whatever it is, um, and I look away, I hit deliver bolus, I should have done that through my bolus screen, but if I go through my bolus, I hit deliver bolus, it beeps to me that it's not gonna give me a bolus, but then it never beeps to me again, and I think, why Medtronic? <laughs> like why out of all the beeping that my pump does, why wouldn't you beep to remind me to hit yes or no on the, the calibrate? I'm shaky. I should have done this later, but I didn't. So thank you for watching and thank you subscribers. You guys are really cool. Um, that's it. Thanks.